Okay guys, so we're back to closed guard again. Loving closed guard with the wrist locks. Nice and easy. I never really have to open my guard to get them. So I'm gonna keep doing them. So for this one, I'm gonna be a little bit more offensive where I'm trying to work towards the guy's back. I'm just gonna take a cross grip on my opponent's E. It can be four fingers in. I prefer a pistol grip for this one because it lets me control his wrist a little bit better. So I'm gonna go here, two on one his arm, arc the hips up nice and high so that I can slide it by as if I'm trying to work towards the arm bar or an extension towards the back. Either way, doesn't matter where you're moving to, we're just gonna try to submit him along the way when he's playing some defenses. So we're here, we're two on one on the arm, I'm lifting up and I'm trying to pull it by, and right now, when I put his wrist on the other side of my hand, now he's gonna start pulling that elbow back into his hip. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm trying to pull it, he's trying to lift it, and look, his wrist is just hanging out. It's like there for the taking. Okay, so now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep his arm isolated with my left and then I'm gonna punch up with my right so that when he thinks he can put his hand towards me to like stabilize the position, I'm just gonna roll over, knees to chest, finish that wrist lock again, okay? All the wrist locks kinda have the same motion, which is why that first drill of him holding my sleeve, elbow went up to here, is gonna be very important just to bang out a few reps. It's gonna help him stretch, it's gonna help you with your timing. So, we're in here on the pistol grip, I'm in here on the tricep, I'm lifting up, I'm getting his hand just to the other side here, okay? Where he's gonna be trying to pull that back into this position, lift it up, and look, he's gonna bring it right over. It's there, go get it. Even if he keeps his hand this way, I'm gonna take it anyways. All I'm gonna do is do a little shrimp and roll my hand over, I'm gonna look this way. He's gotta go somewhere, here's my wrist, crunch into that position, and I'm gonna get that finished. Now let's flip sides real quick so you guys can see that finish from the other side. So, here we are. I'm cross gripping. I'm two on one this arm, okay? I'm gonna do everything I can to break this grip if he's holding on to get that hand to the other side, bringing my knees back down to my chest. Okay, from here, I'm gonna push it across. There it is here. I'm gonna shrimp my hips out to the side. I'm gonna take it. He's gotta go somewhere with his wrist, okay? I'm gonna roll it underneath, crunch forward, and take that finish right there. Nice and smooth, nice and easy. So let's take a look at some of the defenses here, okay? When I pull this arm by and we're like this, one of the defenses is, is he turns his hand down and he tries to grab my gi material, okay? So I'm in here, I pull it by, he turns his hand down and he's starting to grab my material here, okay? I'm okay with that as well. One thing about the gi is it's never really stuck in one place. It can always be moved around, okay? So when somebody's holding onto your gi, that doesn't mean it's a safety net for a wrist lock. So when he's holding on to this gi here, especially when it's moving and everything, I'm gonna keep his elbow pinned down, I'm gonna grab his wrist, and then I'm gonna hit my knees forward and push his wrist in for the wrist lock. So I'm here and driving his hand in, knees to chest to keep it all compressed so that he can't get this hand in to play a defense. So I'm in here, boom, he grabs my gi, I'm pulling in nice and tight, pressing the wrist in. So let's flip to the other side so that we can see that position. He's gonna go ahead and throw his hand over here just so you guys can see what's going on here. I'm in here, boom, he grabs, okay? All I'm doing is crunching forward, moving my gi, breaking his grip, locking his hand with my tricep and crunching it together here and finishing that lock, okay? So let's take a look at the setup. We're in here, we're fighting. I take my cross grip, I two on one it, boom, putting it on the other side, right here, bang. Finishing that position, nice and simple, okay? 